A Sith does what a Sith wants. Well, I mean, there's an Imperial Reclamation Service team you could take command of, if you wanted. It's just, the Lieutenant in charge is a little odd. Too much time digging in tombs, you understand. I only care that he can find the ship. Lieutenant Talos Drellick could find a piece of glass in the Tatooine Desert, but he's very particular about his work. I'm afraid I can't call Lieutenant Drellick. The weather on Hoth is bad for communications. The team's way out in the way searching for some mythical Sith temple on Hoth of all places. Good luck, my lord. Close boys, we'll find that temple, I can feel it. Rogers, no cutting corners. Don't forget the salt. Salt's not the best solution, but it's the only thing that doesn't freeze out here and solid footing is a must. I thought I was crazy. Oh, my lord, you can never be too cautious. The dead dislike having their graves rifled, even for posterity. I heard you single-handedly unearthed artifacts of the great Tulak Horde. I'm a Naga Sadar man myself, but I'd love to compare notes. What brings you to Hoth? And how may I be of service? I'm hunting a ghost, actually. On a crashed ship. Hmm. A ship. Not usually our line, but let's hear it. Maybe we can help. Hmm. A bit new for the reclamation service, but artifacts. And a ghost. I've heard that the dead talk down in the tombs, but to see one, oh. I wonder if it'd be possible to make a hollow image. I imagine it would depend on the light. Yes. Darker would be better. Engineer Sorrel, do we have any probes that aren't frozen solid? Shalora works as good as any in these conditions, sir. She may not look like much, but she's got heart. If my guess is correct, the captain would have launched a distress beacon before the crash, which would give us a line on the ship. Not a bad idea. Beware, my lord. The cold's master out here. My boys and I are going to shift camp. Try to get a better communication setup going. But let us know if you find anything. This is Captain Quillen of the Star Runner. SOS. I repeat, SOS. We're caught in Hoth's gravitational pull and falling fast. Strange events date back two weeks. Yavin 4 artifacts believed to be the source. Something has taken control of the ship. To whomever finds this message, burn this vessel. Don't look inside. Don't touch it. Burn it. Lieutenant Drellick really is something else. Could find a wampa here in a snowdrift, I bet. It still doesn't tell me where the ship is. No, but we have a bearing from the beacon launch, and those tracks. Somebody beat us to this thing. Lieutenant, sir, we found the beacon, but no ship. There's some light tracks, though. They appear to be a few days old. Have Shalora zoom in, Sorrel. I've been studying alien tracks since I was old enough to know a Twi'lek from a Tukata. Um, Ortolan. I'd know them if they were six days old and covered in jam. Those are Ortolan tracks. I'll be sure to look for you next time my ship's galley is invaded by a pack of Ortolans. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll have to remember that next time the Imperial Reclamation Service Trackers Committee meets. It looks like those Ortolans dug something up. Possibly a clue to the ship's location. Sorrel, where's the nearest Ortolan camp? It's a ways beyond the next outpost, but the tracks look headed in the right direction. Well, it might be time to put on your best diplomatic face, my lord. Ortolans don't like outsiders much, but it looks like they're the key to finding our ghost. A little lightning will break them. It always does. Well, it sounds a little gruesome, but who am I to question a master's methods? I'll have Sorrel bring the beacon to the base. Between it and the Ortolans, we're bound to have a breakthrough. We'll be there when you're through dealing with the Ortolans. I met the ghost, and he needs me to get inside an ancient temple. Then it's true! My peers in the service laughed when I said it was on Hoth, but now, yes! It's the only thing that makes sense. Your ghost said he was a follower of Ludo Kresh, and that Naga Sadao's assassins killed him. Sith, do you realize what you've done? 
You're cute when you're excited. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, how kind of you to say. We're talking about the fabled Sadoween, Naga Sadao's personal order of assassins, myth made real. Don't worry, I'll get you inside. I've been circumventing the security of ancient tombs since I was old enough to hold a data spike in a pair of pliers. A data spike and pliers? I have far more advanced equipment at my disposal now. It'll open tomb doors and make tea while you wait. Provided you know how to use it, of course. Now we have a temple to discover. like a simple pulley job. I, I just need to... Give me a moment. Oh, I am too excited! Every time I open a new tomb, like watching a flower blossom, so many wonders! Unbelievable! These look like the catacombs. The rest of the temple must have been destroyed by the elements. The great and secret order of Naga Sadao's assassins, the Sadoween. This is where they came to die when their bloody work was done. So much history. It almost seems wrong to destroy it. Please. I know the ghost wants this all destroyed, but let me at least take some hollow recordings. To obliterate all this history, why, we'd be orphaning ourselves. A culture needs the hand of the past to guide it. Take your record, and make it extra thorough. Thank you. It shouldn't take too long. There. That's the last piece. Just... just tell me when it's over. That's the last of them. My lord, that droid, didn't we already defeat it? Excellent. Thank you, Sith, for your help. Fascinating. How is this possible? It doesn't appear to be technological. To see those pawns of Naga Sadao crushed, their graves defiled. Normally, I consider myself above revenge, but this pleases me. I think I liked your old puppets better. More... lifelike. I find Naga Sadao's droid aesthetic somewhat lacking myself. The ghost! Never in a million years! The Star Runner may be found in the belly of the mighty Super Dreadnought Star of Coruscant, in the graveyard of ships. I landed it there for safekeeping after I crushed its foolish captain. There, you will find me. I know the place, but it's swarming with pirates. White Moor, I think they're called. Not exactly connoisseurs of the historical. I'll use caution. No, oh, I'm sure those pirates will crumble before you like the bones of dead Sith. I wait expectantly for your arrival. Unbelievable! One minute it's walking around good as new, and the next... Oh, there's better equipment for analysis at the base near here. It's on the way to the ship graveyard, if you'll follow me. Here we are. Now, I have to analyze this droid. But your friend said they'd be here if you needed them. I believe the ghost said he was in the Dreadnought. Best go there if you wish to find him.
Oh, my lord, I hoped to catch you before you left. I, um... I have resigned from the service. The military just isn't the best use of my talents. I feel I could serve the Empire better by, uh... by helping you. If you'll let me. And what exactly is in it for me? I have military training, rifles, small arms, grenades, and... Well, I don't like to brag, but I've been called the best in my profession. The ship's getting crowded. Are you sure we can use him? I promise I won't let you down. I just wanted to thank you again for having me along. I'm honored to work with someone of your expertise. The archaeological pursuits of the Sith and Empire have been separate for too long. It is our common history. We have a shared duty to unearth it. Sith rarely seek knowledge for its own sake. Your purity is refreshing. I wouldn't consider myself purer than anyone else in my line of work. I'm honored to do what I do. From the depths of the ground, history calls us to save it from obscurity. I do my best to answer that call. I can tell you do the same. You remind me of my old mentor, Orsilio Gan. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, I meant it as a compliment. He was the best there ever was. But what am I doing talking when there's work to be done? As we say in the service, the dead aren't getting any younger. So, explain this to me. The tomb of Naga Sadao on Koribam was built by Tulak Horde before Naga Sadao was even born? And that's where you found the Deshard Shadow Killer? And when your master tried to steal your body, you use the artifacts of Tulag Horde to put her being into this Deshard? You forgot the part where I received aid from my long-dead ancestor, who was murdered by Tulag Horde. Kalik. He was one of the most powerful Sith Lords of his time. Perhaps the most powerful. And an alien, too. To think how the Empire might have been different if he had killed Tulag Horde and not the other way around. Darth Zash and I have been talking. Well, when she's around. I would love to speak more with Kem Val, but I don't think he likes me. Being locked in stasis for hundreds of years was hard on him. <laughs> Do you know I never thought of it that way? Yes, I'm sure that's it. Perhaps I could give him a few social pointers. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Excellent. I will speak with him at the next opportunity. I understand you inherited quite the archive from Zash. I would love to see it sometime. I would love to show it to you. Excellent. The quest for knowledge is eternal. If I my asking, how is it you became Sith, my lord? The process is completely foreign to me. I had a brother who was Force-sensitive. Darth Ma came and took him to Korriban, but we didn't hear from him again after that. Ungrateful little rat thinks he's too good for us now, my father said. But really, I think he just missed him. If I ever run into your brother, I'll let you know. Oh, it's all right. We didn't really get along anyway. He was always faster and stronger, and he usually had a stick in his hand. Father always wanted one son in the Sith and one in the military. Admittedly, the Imperial Reclamation Service wasn't his first choice, but after all the cursing stopped, I think he warmed up to the idea. What did your father have against the Imperial Reclamation Service? The Drillics are a proud family line, and my father is simply the proudest of the lot. The Imperial Reclamation Service shores up the Empire's foundations against the flood of forgetfulness and misinformation that threatens our history. I'd like to see a fighter pilot establish the lineage of a 3,000-year-old Sith Lord with nothing but rocks and a dead language. I have always believed that knowledge will ultimately win out over the lightsaber and the blaster. Thank you, my lord. It is my honor to serve. You'll never believe what I found! I thought I'd left this behind planets ago! Is it some kind of artifact? This is the tooth of a 4,000-year-old proto-rancor. But look, see this? It's some kind of metal. Not cortosis, but very similar. This rancor was tamed. It was my very first discovery. I carry it with me everywhere for luck. I thought I'd lost it, but I fell into an old tomb a couple of digs ago. It turned out it was caught in the lining of my pocket. 
On Korriban, I pulled an artifact from an ancient holocron that was supposed to be unopenable. You mean from the pyramid and the tomb of Mark Ragnos? How did you do it? With a sonic excavator, or some device of your own? It was painfully obvious, really. I used lightning. Hmm. You know, there's a theory in the archaeological world that certain ancient devices, holocrons especially, have resonances. It's something to do with the Force. Just as only Sith can activate holocrons, some ancient devices can only be activated by certain Sith bloodlines. Well, most archaeologists reject it as unscientific. But there's so much about the galaxy we don't understand. Who am I to say what's scientific? Have you worked with many Sith in the past? Never closely. Usually in a for-hire arrangement. The Imperial Reclamation Service may be part of the army, but we get much less funding than our more martial comrades in arms. Uh, but if you'll excuse me, I have some new findings to analyze. Uh, my lord, remember I told you about my mentor, Orsilio Gan? He took me under his wing after I discovered the domesticated Rancor Tooth. I was polishing the Rancor Tooth and placing it among my things when I noticed a medallion he gave me last time we met. I decided to call him, but none of his frequencies work anymore. When was the last time you spoke to him? It was before I went to Hof. We met at a cantina on Nar Shaddaa for a little light archaeological talk. He said he was on his way to Malachor III. That's when he gave me the medallion. It's the last I saw of him. What was this medallion he gave you? Oh, it was just a knockoff. He said some hut tried to pass it off as the real thing. It was quite canny, though. I just thought he'd had too much to drink. <laughs> he did love to imbibe. Does the medallion have anything written on it? No, just old runes. Most of it nonsense. I'm sure it's nothing. You can't keep an Imperial Reclamation Service man down. I guess I'll keep an ear and an eye out. I'll let you know if I discover anything. My lord, I've solved it. I've figured it out. I don't understand how I could have missed it. The outer layer of the medallion responds to heat. It melted away and revealed this. It's a heat-resistant casing, with a data chip inside. I'm beginning to believe your claims that your mentor was a genius. He was certainly one of a kind. The chip said he was looking for the tomb of Via Santinus. He said he was going to Malachor III, but everyone knows the tomb is on Alderaan. I believe Orsilio Gan went to Alderaan. I'm going to find him. Did you have any luck finding your mentor? No, my lord. I'm afraid the trip was all for nothing. Norcelio Gam was already gone, and nobody could tell me where. He was definitely in the tomb of Via Santinus. His workmanship was all over the site. But he left no clue that I could find. I'm sorry you couldn't find him. Don't you worry. I've not given up hope. Detective work such as this isn't much different from archaeology, after all. It's all about observation and deduction, and Orsilio Gan taught me well. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this in the tomb of Via Santinus. I thought you might find it handy. I do love presents. Via Santinus was a meticulous record keeper. These are the genealogies of all the great Sith Lords of his day. Look, here is your ancestor, Lord Kallig. Bloodlines are very important in the Empire, my lord. Not to mention the historical value. My lord, I think we make an excellent team. Truly, Destiny herself has conspired to bring us together. I'm sorry, Talos. I like you, but I just don't think of you that way. Oh, no. No, that, 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 that's not... I, I mean, I, I, I didn't mean it that way, of course. I've learned so much at your side. My archaeologist instincts are honed to a razor's edge, or a pick's point, as the case may be. Cruel nemesis, torment me no further. I surrender. 
I'm not worthy of finding Auxilio Gan. He was depending on me, and I failed. Don't give up so easily. We can crack this. My lord, I would welcome your expertise. I've tried everything. I've even gone back to the medallion to see if my mentor left me any other clue. If the Imperial Reclamation Service knew how many codes I violated trying to decipher this medallion, they'd have me stripped of my rank. Don't worry, I won't report you. Thank you, my lord. I suppose I will just have to let it rest. Perhaps when my mind is fresh, I can evaluate the situation from a new angle. Wait, why didn't I see this before? The medallion came with a chain. It wasn't the original, so I thought it wasn't important. How wrong I was. I often find when something's difficult, it helps to approach it from another direction. Once again, my limitations are exposed. If you'll excuse me, I must examine the chain more closely. I'm confident it's the key to finding him. My lord! My lord! I've solved it! The chain and the medallion contained a hollow frequency. I wanted you here when I called it. Why would your mentor hide a hollow frequency in the chain? Why wouldn't he just tell you? I'm confident Orcelio Gan had his reasons. Talos, my student. If you are receiving this message, then you have understood the riddle I gave you. I've gone to the tomb of Via Santinus's unnamed apprentice on Aduba VI. I don't understand why, but both Sith and Jedi are after this tomb and its secrets. It's the duty of the Imperial Reclamation Service to preserve this history. If I do not return, come find me and finish my work. Auxilio Gan is in trouble. He needs me. I must find him. This was an automated message. Who knows what has happened in the meantime? I know what could have happened. That won't stop me from going to Aduba Six. I can think of no more fitting place to die than a tomb. But I will do my best to return safely. My lord, I return, but Orsilio Gan does not. He's dead. It pains me terribly to hear it. He was pursued by both Jedi and Sith. He managed to use the tomb's traps against them, but in the process he imprisoned himself. His discoveries are amazing. They will make a wonderful paper. But I can't help but wonder if it was worth dying for. What do you mean by that? Well, I don't know. I suppose you're right. It's silly of me to doubt. And to think I was considering tendering my resignation? Oh, what would Orsilio Gan think if he could see me now? I must continue his work. Thank you for restoring my faith, my lord. I'm happy to see you're so pleased. The historical mind is ever curious and never sated. My lord, I just wanted to thank you again. The wonders I have seen working by your side are more than I could have ever hoped. Truly, you are a paragon among Sith and the Empire. I seek only knowledge. If it serves the Empire, then good. That's precisely what I admire about you, my lord. Your love of knowledge. It's gone out of practice. But there's evidence that certain non-Force users used to pledge themselves as loyal vassals to Drew Sith. These vassals and their families were bound to the Sith and their family for generations. Will you accept my pledge to you and your heirs? I couldn't possibly ask that of you. Your humility is one of your most admirable traits, but this is not the place for it. It's an honor to serve you. <laughs> 